Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going to be talking about another Sky Factory 4 tutorial, but this does work on most mod packs. So today we're going to be talking about the Matter Overdrive weapons. That's right, we got an Omni Tool, Phaser, sh Plasma Shotgun, phaser rifle and on here we have our ion sniper so we're gonna go over how to make these how to get some of the stuff that does not have crafting recipes and all that cool stuff so they're pretty fun all right so first of all um if you need to know how to make some of this i did cover it in the matter overdrive one how to become an android so check that out so for the first thing we're going to need a weapon station in order to modify our weapons and so for that we're going to need a battery a machine casing an isolinear circuit mach 3 piece of redstone piece of glowstone and a force filled emitter Next, we're going to need to make some empty matter containers. Each of these recipe makes four, so it works pretty well. For that, we're going to need three titanium ingots and a superconductor magnet. Next, we're going to need plasma cores, and we're going to need one to two of these, depending on which weapon we are making for each weapon. So for this, we're going to need two iron ingots, two glass, two superconductor magnets, and an empty matter container. Next, we're gonna need weapon receivers. And again, you'll need one to two, depending on what weapon you're making. So try two titanium ingots, three iron ingots, and a piece of redstone. Now for the weapon handle, we're gonna need four iron ingots, two titanium ingots, and a piece of black wool. All right, so now we're gonna need to put our weapons together. So this is for the phaser. For the phaser, we're gonna want two, uh, excuse me, three iron ingots, two pieces of white wool, an isolinear circuit Mach 3, a plasma core, a piece of glass, and a weapon handle. And that'll give you this. When it, the bar is black, that just means there's no power to it. Next, for the phaser rifle, we're going to take three iron ingots, a weapon receiver, piece of white wool, weapon handle, a battery, isolinear circuit Mach 3, and a plasma core right in the middle. And that'll give us the rifle. Next, for the plasma shotgun, we're going to take two of the weapon receivers, a piece of, um, excuse me, an iron ingot, a pl two plasma cores, an isolinear circuit Mach 3, a weapon handle, and a battery. That'll give us our plasma shotgun. Next, for the ion sniper, we're going to take two iron ingots, an isolinear circuit Mach 4, a weapon receiver, weapon handle, two plasma cores, and a battery. And last for the weapons is the Omni tool. So for this one, we're going to take two iron ingots, a weapon handle, weapon receiver, a force field emitter, isolinear circuit Mach 3, plasma core, and a battery. So that's it for the weapons, but we have a few more things that we're going to take a look at. So first of all, we need a scope. Well, you don't have to have one, but let me tell you, the scope's pretty awesome. You're gonna want it. Now the scope you can add to the um, the rifle and the, whoops. Yeah, you don't wanna accidentally click on that. And the sniper here. And for either one, like it, it's pretty cool. You definitely wanna add one of those scopes, in my opinion. But to make that, you're gonna need five iron ingots two lime stained glass panes, and it has to be lime, a force filled emitter, and an isolinear circuit Mach 2. Now these are different things you can add to the weapons. Okay, so the first one is the Dilithium Focusing Matrix. So this one is a piece of glass, two redstone, a Dilithium crystal, and a titanium plate. This one can be added to the phaser, plasma shotgun, phaser rifle, rifle and iron ion sniper so it'll do ammo 50 percent effect 50 percent damage 150 percent and it goes in your barrel slot next we have the regeneration converter this one is three sugar 
a golden apple, the regular golden apple, not the enchanted one, a titanium plate, and two emeralds. Now this can only be added to the phaser. Um, and probably should tell you what they do. Uh, this one heals you 20% and adds, it has no, it negates the damage to it, but it, um, heals you 20% and 50% ammo. Okay, next we have the Burst Inductive Drum. This one is a fire rate 15%, ammo 20%, effect 50%, and explosion damage 100%. So this one can be added to the Phaser Plasma Shotgun, Phaser Rifle, and Ion Sniper. And to make this one, it is 3 TNT, a Blaze Rod, 2 Diamonds, and a Titanium Plate. Now this last one is the Incinerary Filter filter and it is glass, two blaze rod, a fire charge, and a titanium plate. This one can be added to the phaser, plasma shotgun, phaser rifle, rifle, and ion sniper. All right, now there's another thing and that's these energy packs. Plus, I'll show you, um, I know Android was last time, but there's another thing that you can only get from the loot fabricator. And of course, you're gonna get the pristine rogue Android from either getting, uh, putting your um, thing in here, it would be the Android one, or of course from killing the mobs with your special sword. And I do have a whole thing on how to set all this up and do all that, so check that out. But the two things that you can only get from here is the energy pack, and if you click it, each one gives you six, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but you can also get this Tritanium Spine. And this is something that you can add to your armor. So the energy packs basically reload your, your weapons while you're out. Now right now you'll notice if I use them, I'm going to stay at 100%. But the reason why is because I have a wireless charger going. So these are automatically going to stay... Uh, charged while I have I am near that wireless charger. All right, so for the titanium uh, spine, that's actually here. You would put it in, but it adds 50% glitch time, like it reduces the glitch time by 50%, and it gives you plus two health. Well, what is the glitch time? The glitch time is when something hits you, and that's the amount of time that you know your screen goes all wonky like a kind of like a broken computer or machine or something you know and I will show you that in a minute because we will go check that out all right so your weapon station is where you're gonna put all your tools in and add the pieces to it so for instance I've added high capacity batteries to each of the tools now the Omni tool is pretty cool but you have to be careful with the Omni tool I did not mean to put that in my other slot. There we go. Okay, so the Omni tool is pretty cool because, well, you can left click and that's going to shoot and kill mobs. And we will go somewhere and I'll demonstrate all the weapons here in a second. But I, while we are here, I also want to demonstrate if you right click, you can break blocks. And it breaks them pretty fast. So you're going to have to be careful. Don't accidentally go to right click something with this in your hand because you might inadvertently break it. So I wanted you to know that right away, but it makes it pretty cool. I don't know where that one came from, so we're just gonna put it there. It makes it pretty cool if you're out doing something to uh, be able to quickly break down something, like a building thing, for instance. Like if I wanted to go break these down it's pretty fast. I mean, look at that, especially since we're flying. Okay. And I don't really care about these. So if they sit there, I, it, it's no big deal. All right. So let's go to a dimension where we can actually look at these weapons. I did add some, um, does it say on here? Damage 1%. Okay, so before we go, let me show you what I added to each one of these weapons. Because that might be important. I wanted to show you all the different... See, I just did it again. 
Don't accidentally click with the Omni tool. Okay, so for the phaser, I added the regeneration converter, which that one heals us, okay? The plasma, I added the incinerary filter, so that's fire. Uh, the rifle, I added the burst, so that's going to shoot a lot faster. And the sniper, I added the dilithium focusing matrix, which that one gives extra damage. All right. So let's go to another dimension and we will check out how these bad boys are going to work. Now, when you're out somewhere, let's go to Lost Cities. There's quite a bit of mobs there because it's nighttime. When you're out somewhere, you are going to... Um, let me get over here. I'll be right back. Okay, so when you're out somewhere, you're definitely going to want to take energy packs with you because you will actually go through this. Now, this is just the Omni tool. But it still doesn't do too bad, right? especially as a ranged weapon. But here's the phaser. And the phaser right now, the way it's set is if I click on it, it's actually gonna heal me. It's not gonna do any damage. So if you notice it's not shooting, that's why. All right, so this one, the shotgun. I like the shotgun. And if you hold it down, of course you can shoot faster. All right, so now the sniper, and of course I haven't zoomed in at all, so let's zoom in. Now we killed an android. Sometimes they will drop extra parts that give us extra things. But being able to zoom in and actually watch you kill them is pretty cool. All right, and then we have the rifle. So really it is a matter of, okay, so see how I just got hurt? That is my glitch time. So that time is how much time your screen will be all wonky when a mob hits you. So when people are talking about the glitch time and reducing it, it reduces how much time that you have that on your screen. All right, the weapons are pretty simple, but they're a lot of fun. And that wasn't too bad for for my glitch time. And look, it's killing the mobs pretty quick. And because I have the batteries in here, they're actually staying pretty charged, which is very nice. I have a high capacity battery filled up all the way on each of the weapons. So as you can see, they're not going down very well. But that's it. The weapons are pretty simple. They're a lot of fun. Let me know when you play with them. Tell me what you think. Or if you think I missed anything. Or if you want to see a tutorial on something different. But that's going to be it for today. Hopefully this helps out a little bit. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. Till next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye!